Hi, I'm Ed Scar, and once again, it is December, or probably January when this video actually comes out. And so, as I seem to have been making a tradition of it, I've brought out my entire collection of unpainted models, commonly called the Pile of Shame, which I disagree with. I much prefer to call it the Pile of Opportunity. However, as we shall see as we go through uh, the video today, I've not been taking much uh, use of that opportunity. And also in comparison to previous years, um, it's getting to the point where it's difficult to lay it all out on the table, and so a lot of stuff is going to stay in the egg box lids that I use to move stuff around and store uh, my unpainted models in, just because it's easier to have them that than, than loose. And they do tend to stack up quite well. With models in so it's just a convenient way of kind of storing them unfortunately some of these cartons have actually remained completely untouched since my last video on my pile of opportunity particularly things like the Blackstone Fortress set that uh, Ratman got me sorry and the dwarves um, all of these dwarves from 20 years ago I got these. Uh, there's actually two extra ones. There's two new ones in here. But I also want to talk about not just the models that I have that I haven't painted, but actually the models that I have painted this year. And as most of the models I paint become videos for you guys to watch, just because I enjoy making the videos, I don't actually make any money or anything off of the videos, just a hobby for me. And so a lot of the models that I have painted this year have been the Gaunt's Ghosts model. Now last year I spent a lot of effort doing a lot of Gaunt's Ghost stuff and I've come to the point where the, the project of the Gaunt's Ghost is just about done. Um, however, this here is my uh, collection of unpainted Gaunt's Ghosts, so there's probably two squads left to go as, as you can see there. I'll get those done at some point probably in the next year. The far more numerous models that I have painted this year has been my Soviet Union Army for Bolt Action. And of course the other nations that I've been painting models for. The Soviet Union are at least 130 models and there's at least 20 models of the other uh, nations. I've got some British, some German and some American models that I have painted. Just like with the Gaunt's Ghosts, I have a handful of Soviet models that haven't been painted yet. Not many, um, again, probably about two squads. So at some point, hopefully, I can get those done. But here I have an entire platoon of Americans that I haven't painted. Last year, a lot of the models that I was buying was for the Gaunt's Ghosts, and a lot of the models that I was painting were the Gaunt's Ghosts. This year, a lot of the models I was buying was for Volt Action, and a lot of the models I was painting was for Volt Action. So what that means is that the models that I am buying, predominantly, I'm excited about and I am painting. And maybe I don't paint every single one, but I paint a lot of them. I enjoy painting, and particularly for Bold Action, I've had quite a few games played as well. So naturally we have to get around to counting them, eventually. And the egg carton lids make that very easy. I wrote a jetpack racing game a few years ago and got a bunch of models so that I could play it, and that whole project will be revisited at some point soon. 50 United States bolt action models, 27 British, and even another 20 something of various nations completely unbuilt. 9 FX models, including one from the Manchester Nerfer. I did want to split up some of the cartons that had been de facto dumping grounds for unrelated stuff, and so I picked out all of the animals, the creatures and griblies. There's 11 of those, and I put them in a smaller carton to have easier access. I also found 18 models that loosely fit into the high fantasy genre. 12 cyberpunk or science fiction-ish models, including this much larger robot. And the one that caught my attention, 15 post-apocalyptic or similar, and there's one here in particular that I might just have to paint right now. You see, that's the real advantage of the pile of opportunity. 
to have a reasonable sized collection of models that are all over the place and random. Knights in armor and a dragon, a tank, aliens and soldiers, whatever stuff you like. And it's all built, primed even, if you're sensible, so that at any point you can grab whichever one takes your fancy and just get stuck in. And so here is a perfectly normal post-apocalyptic survivor lady who definitely isn't a bunch of rabbits in a trench coat. And you know, I haven't painted any purple in a while. So while painting this model is good fun and it's just a really cool model to begin with, I don't want this video to run on forever, so let's get back to the counting. And most of this is fairly simple, even counting the individual small creature models all the way up to the big vehicles and that dragon as one each. However, I have these from Warlord's epic scale line. If I count each individual soldier, there's 220 of them. Napoleonic Brits and French, and some metal Spanish Civil War from Peter Pig. But they are bunched together in lines, and each line acts as one entity in the game, you can't really paint them separately. So if I count them by line, there's about 18-ish. Now we can argue in the comment section down below which way is more appropriate for counting this, but I'm going to go with 18 because I consider that one line is one model. And so what is the grand total, the bottom line, the final number? Two years ago, I had a, just over 200. Last year, just over 300. And this year, 515. A sizable increase, especially because I've painted 150 or 180 models this year. So I must have bought or otherwise acquired 350 models, which doesn't seem right to me, but I'm sure that if I go through every single box that I've bought, every model that I've printed, everything that I've been given, and everything that I've scrounged, I probably would find that that is at least roughly accurate. So, whilst I do believe that having a reasonable pile of opportunity to be a good thing, I need to keep it reasonable so that I can see it. I want to be able to look through the models and take advantage of that opportunity. And therefore, I have a deal. In the coming year, I will make notes of every model that I paint and every model that I acquire by any means, including being given. And just to reduce my overall total to something that I can manage better, I will only acquire one new model for every two that I paint. Which still means that I have some leeway to acquire quite a few models, but the overall total should hopefully be reduced to somewhere that I can manage. Now of course, for your collection at home, how many you can manage is up to you. Your space, your style, and your process for painting. And I've already started taking notes of that, as during the course of making this video I've already been given two and one one model, but I have painted one model as well during the making of this video, because this totally normal post-apocalyptic lady who is certainly not a bunch of rabbits in a trench coat by Bad Squiddo Games is completed, and I think it looks pretty good. Well, you will lot all post in the comments if you manage to spot any models you would like to see me paint or otherwise work on in the coming year. But for now, Happy New Year, I'm Edscar, always will be, and thank you very much for watching.